Hey garden friends, it's Heather at Bush Poppy Farm and today we're building greenhouse benches. If you've already subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. And if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? So we're building a bench for the greenhouse. Just out of two by fours and four by fours and putting some hardware cloth on the top. I'll put the dimensions of everything <laughs> that we used in the in the uh, section below. This one's a small one. It's only two by five, so it can fit in the home greenhouse. We're gonna do almost identical copies, three by eight for the bigger one. Thank you. that took a lot longer <laughs> than I had planned. Part of it was that we thought we had more screws than we do. Um, we had a lot of screws left over from building this greenhouse, which are perfect for um, going through lots and lots of wood. And so some of the screws were great. Uh, the others I had to drill pilot holes for first. Um, anyway, the frame is pretty much done. I'm gonna add another screw here and there, and then we actually have two bracing pieces that I'm gonna put on the bottom legs. so I can do that later. Um, just, it's, I mean, it's pretty sturdy, um, but I wanna add those two bracing pieces, but I need more screws, so I'll have to do that later. The next step, and I'm gonna to try to get to it tonight, um, is to put hardware cloth on the top, and then this is my, this is gonna be my my bench in this greenhouse for holding all the plants that don't need to be under the lights anymore that are just kind of waiting to go out in the garden um and they'll get plenty of light during the day being out here and, and indirect light from these uh it's, it's plenty bright in here as you can see and the sun's about to set so i need to grab the hardware cloth cut it to size and then staple it down um and this particular size right here is two feet wide actually it's a little bit longer than a little bit wider than two feet wide it's actually these these braces are two feet so then there's two inches uh 24 26 there's 28 feet 28 inches wide by five feet long so um that's going to be plenty big to put a tray on like this tray of violas they'll fit in here perfectly um and then i could probably easily fit two or more trays that way so plenty of room and much needed room and uh, the reason I'm putting hardware cloth on the top is so that when I water everything will just kind of dribble down to the bottom and you know I have a gravel uh, base in the in this greenhouse also underneath I can store things that I don't mind getting wet like extra pots and extra trays and all that stuff that can get wet and it's no big deal and then I'll keep the covered storage under the potting bench 
for things that I don't want to get wet, like the soil bags and the fertilizer bags and things like that. So that is the plan. I'm going to go grab the hardware cloth and see if I can't get this project finished for today. Now we are doing the same thing, same exact style for the big greenhouse. All of that reclaimed wood that's sitting out there that um, I pulled aside to redo the um, retaining walls, we're not going to use it for retaining walls now because we're going to flatten that whole area. So we're going to use that wood to build the benches for that greenhouse, which is going to save us a ton of money. Like, you know, it would be nuts. So those boards are 14 feet long. The greenhouse is 20 feet long. So I am going to do the board, do the, do the bench itself a whole 14 feet. And we'll probably end up putting that one on wheels so that I can, you know, move it around in there. Um, we might end up cutting it in half. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but we have more than enough wood out there to do this exact style, um, even with bracing out there with hardware cloth and everything. So we're good to go on that. Um, the only thing we need to do is get a lot more screws. So that's the next step um, after I finish this. Those ones out there will be three feet wide as opposed to um, two feet wide. This one's only this wide because, you know, as you can see, that's just the space I have in here. Um, in that other greenhouse, it is 12 feet wide. So um, three feet on a wall is no big deal. There are not double doors though. So we're gonna build it inside the greenhouse and that's really gonna stay. They're not gonna have to be able to come in and out because they'll be too wide for the doors. So uh, yeah, it's a good thing we're doing it with reclaimed lumber. <laughs> okay, so I will put, as I said before, I will put a, a, um, a materials list in the description box so that if you want to build one of these for your greenhouse, you can. And of course you just adjust it for size. These uh, middle supports, um, I put, you know, roughly midway, I guess it's about 14 inches in between each one. Um, but you can put as many supports as you want. You could put one every, every foot if you wanted to. Um, but it's just to give a little extra support for the hardware cloth so that when you put heavy trays on top, it doesn't bow the hardware cloth. So, all right, I'm going to go, speaking of hardware cloth, I'm going to go grab that. but it's way in the front in the cut flower garden and the roll is super heavy. I can't drag it out here by myself. So I was able to get the half inch on there. Uh, we ran out of staples for the staple gun, which, which works well to attach it. So instead, just to secure it for now, I put these giant um, fence staples. They're huge, <laughs> way too big for, for uh, hammering into the two by fours because it just splits them. So. I put those in the four by four corners just to hold it down. I'll get some more staples and attach this all the way. I'm going to bend this over the front and attach it so that I don't have any sharp edges here. Um, I hammered down the sharp edges on the edge here so nothing can get stuck. And yeah, I think it's going to be great. Um, I just need to get some more, <laughs> some more um, staples so I can put it all together. And then that'll be it for now. It's nice and high. I wish my potting bench was this high. <laughs> I can I can raise it up. I do have some bricks, so I might do that. I have some blocks that I can raise this potting bench up, and I think I will do that, um, so it's more comfortable um, to work at. And I originally put these up so that I could have a shelf here, but once I put the shelf on, uh, there's not much room, so I think I'm gonna have to lower these or put them somewhere else entirely. I have another shelf, same brackets over there, but. I need to go cut the wood to fit because it's uh, it's too long. Um, so I'll just use the saw and get that done probably tomorrow. So I can at least have some shelves in here um, in addition to this. And then that way this tray can just stay a tray and not have to hold all this additional stuff, which actually makes it really top heavy. So and a little unwieldy. So that's that. I think that's it for tonight. I might do a little bit more finagling in here, but 
pretty much this project is done and I'm excited to start using it. So that's it for today. It's not even daytime anymore. It's dark outside. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.